Greeting, this is Ahmad from Global Project Control YouTube channel. In this lesson, I would like to show you how some of formula in Excel works. The first formula is is error. Is error it help us to bypass some error during the formulation use the formula in Excel. Some of error type can bypass by is error is over here. If I write is error and select the error type, as you see, it's changed to be true. But how you can work is error in formula? For instance, when you want to use VLOOKUP in your data, I use VLOOKUP to find the start and finish for this database from this one. This is the start, column number four. And what about finish? I used to use VLOOKUP in order to find data from one table to another table. This is five. If I change the format and if I expand the formula to all of my database, as you see, some of character does not meet our requirements, so our formula is faced with error. In this case, you can use the is error in your formula. If I combine this VLOOKUP in if and is error, then when the value is true because I use is error, I should write the is error result. Need to check with Reference data base. And the other case, if I not face it with some error, I can find out the result. And if I expand this formula to this line to I used to if and I like to add is error to my if and my VLOOKUP. Then I use the copy from my VLOOKUP. This is the is error value. And if I face it with error, need to check with reference database. In the other hand, I can use my VLOOKUP. If I expand the formula to all rows, you find out show me how many error I have in my database and I should check it manually. That's all about is error. Let's do go for next formula. The next formula is mean. The mean formula present us the minimum value is available on the criteria. If I use mean and I select this criteria, it show me the zero. But if I use the mean,
for this criteria, it show me zero percentage. But if I use the mean for baseline project start, show me the start date of project, 11 of January 21. That's it. So the mean is work with date, with value, and with percentage. That's all about mean. But the max. The max is present as the maximum value is available on our database and criteria. If I change the mean to the max, show me the maximum value of budget labor units. That is. And also if I change it to the max, because I have zero percentage only, show me the zero. And also if I change this criteria from mean to the max, it show me the last baseline project start date. This is the 21 March of 22. That's it. Sometimes you want to round up your value in your project. As you see, I have some decimal places in my budgeted labor unit. So if I want to update the value, I can use the round. By round, you can use the number. Then you can limit your digit, for instance, from 1 to 0. All of your digit updated based on your correction. And also, if you add the decimal places, you cannot find any decimal in digit extension. It is very helpful when you want to limit your digit, for instance, for two decimals. Only use the round for all digit up to two decimals and change all the result to the two decimals. Also, we have round up and round down. If you want to use the round in upper or in downer. If you want to use the round for round up or round down. If I use round up, I should select the value. Then I want to round up by zero decimals. This is the result for round off. And if I want to use the round down by the same decimals, zero, the result is different. If I use the sum for both criteria, it should not be same result. As you see, the result is different. So, when you need round up, use round up. And when you need round down, you can use round down. But sometimes you need to remove decimals completely. In this case, you should use the integer. If I use int in formula and I only select the value include decimal, it's completely changed to the integer only without any decimals. Another thing is if when you want to use the capitalization at the first of your text, you can use proper. 
but how let me to hide some criteria in this sheet if I want to this this takes use proper capitalization As you see, this is not used the proper capitalization for each word. If I use proper the capitalization for each word corrected by Excel. Let me to select all the database. All the capitalization is changed by proper. Also, sometimes you need to use the upper and write all the text with capital letters. In this case, you need to use the upper, select the text, and that's it. All the text change to be capital. These are very simple but very useful formula in Excel. I hope this lesson would be useful for you. Please keep in touch with my LinkedIn, YouTube, and Instagram, and Facebook for further lesson. Also, you can follow my hashtag, Global Project Control, in order to find all of my lesson in the same page. Thank you for your subscription in my channel.